Hello, I'm Dr. Kurt Stavora, and I'm a professor within the College of Hospitality and Tourism Management at Niagara University. I'm also the Niagara Global Tourism Institute Scholar and Director of Research. Um, I'm speaking to you from the NGTI, where we sit on the American and Canadian border, and we discuss issues in hospitality and tourism. Today, I'd like to chat with you about some trends in uh, that are upcoming, uh, largely initiated by the, the COVID epidemic that we're currently experiencing, and, and it looks like it's going to affect us for the foreseeable future. There have been some unintended consequences that have affected the hospitality and tourism industry, and obviously we, we've seen some of the horrific numbers that, uh, that have come with the uh, pandemic and, and all that entails. The hospitality industry, however, has been impacted uh, in ways that were also unintended. Uh, and I'm gonna share with you some of the trends and I'll allow for you to glean from those uh, how they might apply to you. So as far as the trends are toward the summer of 2000, 21, um, some of the, the things that are coming into, into the forefront are elements surrounding cleanliness. Um, you're seeing marketing that alludes to clean, sanitation, patio, outside, things that suggest uh, safety as it relates to, to COVID. The second trend that we've seen in tourism and hospitality are elements surrounding families traveling by car and traveling within a half a day's length. Um, they're doing so with the idea that they, they don't have to stay overnight in hotels or motels. And um, that's also a, a affecting uh, kind of regional travel. And I think marketing, or one of the conclusions that can be drawn from that, is marketing may be shifted toward a different demographic than, than what was done in the past. Thirdly, you're seeing people travel by themselves, solo travel, uh, particularly with people in their 20s and 30s, and they're, uh, they're embarking on, on their own. They're also embarking on their own to destinations that are not largely urban, or what we would consider to be um, first-round suburbs, but rather they're, they're taking in the hinterland or secondary or tertiary cities. Uh, so a third trend would be um, the solo travel element. Number four, um, I would say that the families and the solo travelers are also, there's been a back to nature uh, dynamic. Uh, that's been uh, suggested by the numbers associated with national parks, regional parks, state parks, and um, all of the activities therein. Hiking is becoming a, 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 a kind of a, uh, people have, have reimagined themselves in the wilderness. They've, they've come to enjoy the outdoors once again. Uh, I would say that RV sales also reflect the fact that, that people are traveling differently. RV sales have never been better. Bike sales, uh, they can't keep bicycles on the racks. And um, so there is a, a back to nature element there and as well. Um, Finally, I would say that other outdoor activities such as golf, I'm a golfer, and uh, I see that the tee boxes are, are backed up and the, the rounds are a little slower, but one of the good things about this is that people in their 20s and 30s are, are finding golf to be enjoyable. And uh, I've been talking to, to golf courses that I frequent and the pros uh, that are receiving these new visitors and they're suggesting that they're years have never been better. And in many respects, if you're going to uh, extrapolate and, and derive linear logic from that, it's that it saved a lot of golf courses uh, who were having difficult times trying to bring the average golfer to age at their particular club down from the 60s down to the 40s. And, and now 20s and, and 30 somethings are, are finding golf. That's also the case with fishing and camping. Um, the reason I'm sharing this with you is because if you're a hotel or a 
or a hospitality or tourism destination that used to cater to, to families from distances or business travelers, it's time to start rethinking who your new demographic is. Um, clearly, there have been some difficult times, but there are also unintended benefits or uh, ideas that, that can benefit you moving forward. So I hope this was helpful. We're going to have a, a series, we're gonna have ongoing dialogue regarding some trends. And we're also going to have quarterly updates that are based on hard data and hard facts relative to rev par and daily rate so that you can also see uh, where we are trending um, and some of the, uh, uh, the up-to-date information that you can also benefit from. Thank you so much and please look for our ongoing casts.